Good morning, Dream Achiever, and welcome to another episode of Fountains Free Game Fridays. And today we begin with the remarkable Harvard rat study. Now it's a powerful story, in my opinion, for human spirit. In this study, what happened? These rats, they were dropped all in this water and they were struggling to stay afloat. And when they were rescued just before drowning, they persevered longer in subsequent trials, having hope that rescue might come. So it is indeed true that hope can keep you alive. So what I wanna do is I wanna share three tips so you can keep your hope alive when nothing seems like it is working, when nothing seems like it's going your way, when you feel like you're drowning. Without a further ado though, let's jump right on in. Number one, I need you to embrace the power of hope. Hope isn't just wishful thinking. It is almost as an anchor that keeps us afloat amidst life storms. It's the unwavering belief that change is possible, igniting the courage to persevere, to dream, to act. Embrace hope as the fuel for your journey. Number two, I need you to start reshaping your perspective. You know I'm a big believer in perspective driving performance. So what perspective is, is shifting your lens towards the positive. Despite the challenges, see them as opportunities for growth by focusing on what's within your control and having hope in the possibility of change, you can really alter your reality. And number three, I need you to start taking action and inspire change. Hope alone isn't enough. Action is its companion. Start small, but start now. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Your actions, no matter how small, they contribute to a ripple effect, inspiring others and fostering a collective movement towards a brighter tomorrow. And listen, Dream Achiever, as we conclude the episode, I want you to think about this. No matter what's going on in your life, you have to have hope. And remember, hope is not passive. It's a catalyst for change. Embrace it. I want you to nurture it and let it drive your actions. And as we conclude, I want you to take a moment to reflect on the power of hope in your life and how it can be the cornerstone for your journey to positive transformation. Now, listen, Dream Achiever, you know, I'll see you next week. But remember, make the rest of your life the best of your life.